Hold on. Okay. Hello. We're heading into the time of celebration today. We're going to do check out downtown here. If anybody is, a, if nobody's aware, this is a town that Disney World or Disney had actually had made uh, years ago. They don't currently own it right now, but it is the town that they developed. Hey everybody, it's Bob. We're streaming from the town of Celebration, the Disney developed neighborhood and town. Hey. It's a nice day out here. It's in the 70s right now. It was in the 40s this morning. Actually, in the 30s this morning. Now it is in the 70s. Yes, it is a beautiful place. We um, saw a carriage as we were coming in. One of the Disney carriages. Hey, Gon. Hey, Ken. Uh, with a um, wedding party downtown here is really really spectacular looking and it's uh, we're heading towards it so we might get a glimpse of it as they go down the road hey steve daniel yes this is a celebration this is the town that disney built Head on over here across the street and head to the water and get a nice view. I haven't seen the show, Ken. That's pretty cool. I'll have to come do that. Hey, Don. Gonna head over and look at this carriage with you. How you doing? <laughs> All right, we're heading towards the wedding. Uh, yeah, they're not there, but it was there was a bride up front. Definitely, yeah. The celebration is really nice. Some really neat decor and housing style. You can see everybody over here just hanging out. Checking out the water, taking pictures in front of it. I don't hear a popping, I mean, I don't know if there's anybody here a popping sound that Daniel is talking about. Yes, the architecture is very beautiful. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it. I'm going to show you the town celebration map here. So here's the various restaurants and such. Shopping. The population here in 2010 on the last census, I guess, was uh, 7427. 7,000, over 7,000 people live here. Ah, thanks. Ian? All right, so we're gonna do some walking. We're gonna walk down this way and we'll head back up, down to the center. So yeah, you can see the increase right now with 10,000 residents, as you said, that's increased since 2010, so that's good.
It's so beautiful over here. Just the sun shining down. Everybody's relaxing over here by the water. It's a Bohemian Hotel. Yeah, it is really a nice area. And you can see there's a walking trail around the, the lake here. People are walking and relaxing. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Heather. Yeah, down here in this area is where they do a lot of the live concerts and uh, different events. I know there's various events that come down to these hotels, too, that that bring uh, reality stars like Hearts of Reality. And that's a very popular thing annually. Andy, I will say hi to Sarah Richards. Yes, hi, Sarah. How are you doing? So the Town of Celebration is a big neighborhood a mixture of businesses and uh, housing, condos, houses, uh, and downtown, and apartments, and downtown uh, businesses, and shops, and restaurants. We're coming over to the water feature here. That's good, thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure about the movie theater, if it's closed or not. I have to check that out. What do we have here across the street? Is that the theater? I don't know. I, I don't. I, I see posters out front. We'll walk to, to it and, and check it out and see. playground across the lake over there. So how, everybody's do how is everybody doing tonight? This is a unique event here to be able to stream the town of celebration. So share it with your friends and family. Like it. Heart it. Smile. Do anything. Make it known that you like this stream. Thanks, Kate. The theater's close, Keith, huh? Okay, I'll have to check that out. We're going to circle back here in a, check, in a moment and check that out. I don't know why you live in Michigan, but I certainly love being over here. And we're going to walk over towards the uh, Celebration Lakeside Park. It's just so beautiful over here and everybody is just out and about and walking around and having a good time and relaxing and you can see people are doing are, are playing basketball over there in the background amen to that kate it's definitely great to be friday oh here we go we have some residents of Celebration, and the residents might be named Donald or Daisy, I'm not sure. We'll just go and say hi and see if they have anything to say to us. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Celebration's not as close to Disney World as you would expect. It's uh, on the other side of 192, if anybody's familiar with the area. 
Um, but I know over in this area, you can see fireworks from this area. Uh, I just don't know uh, what the best vantage points are. Everybody's just hanging out, having a picnic. Looks like they're doing some studying or art. Playing kickball. We have some more residents here. I wonder if we can interview these residents. Looks like Mama and Daddy. Would you guys like to say a few words for the camera? <laughs> I think they're silent today. It's all right though. Oh, look at the sun, um, the sun setting behind the uh, Bohemian Hotel over there. Uh, the weather it, it started off to be in the in the mid to uh, upper 30s, and now it is in the mid to upper 70s. 74 right now, actually. Yes, it is a perfect evening, Friday evening. And then out here, you have. The, the families that have their dogs out here playing and the kids playing and they have some uh, events sometimes out here on, on the grass. People have rocking chairs out over here that they get to rock on. Probably yoga, yeah. Uh, that's true. It's just very, very peaceful over here. And this is just the... Uh, the park area we haven't even really walked through downtown at all and then the homes and the apartments and all those are really spectacular all right we're heading to towards the playground this is one of a uh, at least two i know of I believe there's a pool back here too and of course, if anybody's uh, not from Florida, we don't close our pools in the winter. That's something I learned recently, that you close pools in areas around the country. We've, I'm a Floridian, we never close our pools. All right, what's your question, Jennifer? Yes, it does look like a perfect place for a wedding cake. I'm going to watch the sunset go a little bit here while I take some questions from everybody. We're going to circle back here, watching the, the pretty sun in the background, heading towards uh, the downtown area. That's right, uh, there's various places that are all around Magic Kingdom and Disney and Hollywood Studios everywhere that has great views of the fireworks. Uh, Horizon West is a new upcoming area in Winter Garden area. Windermere. <laughs> Jennifer, that's a good question. I, I don't know the answer to that one. I'm not an expert in that field. Um, but it is something that you certainly would want to look up. But you know what? I think your spirits would definitely go up uh, being in, in, in Florida. Yeah, the cost of living in Florida is less than most places, so that could be a, a contributing factor and it could be lower, but then again, the cost of living is lower so yeah i'm not sure about your personal circumstances but um hopefully you can look into that and come to florida and enjoy the weather with us yeah yes there's a hotel right over here it's the bohemian hotel um is there any other there's another on the outskirts called um, the autograph hotel it hmm. is the, the 
Okay. Yeah, there is another hotel. I'm not sure of the name of it. It's not right nearby where we're standing. Okay. Yeah, it's towards the edge, towards more of the the touristy 192 corridor. Oh, I guess they they decided they want to make a camera presence again. Everybody say hi. <laughs> Yes, Bohemian Hotel. Oh, Amelia. Amelia. Yep. Bohemian and Amelia is the other one. Oh, Amelia is the other hotel. It's really nice. Really, really nice. So what's everybody think so far? They think this would be somewhere they'd want to be strolling in the evening like this before, during sunset? Property taxes in Florida. Um, like I said, I'm a Floridian, so uh, yeah, it's I can't tell you necessarily what it would compare to around the country, but uh, I do know the Orlando area is probably a little bit more expensive than some of the other counties around. But it is county by county. There is no state income tax, though. No state income tax. Let's see what we can see here. Once the sun sets a little bit more, we're gonna to head towards the town. Um, I'm not sure if that's true, Don. I'm not sure what, um, there, if you have a car, you can get food stamps here. I don't know if it's different around the country, but that is, that that is available here. Hey, ducky, so what are you finding? Yep, we're going to head to Main Street in just a moment here. So we're going to head that way. That is, that is such a beautiful backdrop there. We're going to continue walking towards Main Street with the view of the uh, sunset. I guess really in front of me right now. It, it's just a sidewalk and some streets. But... Every all the action is straight ahead here. We're heading and that way. Well, that sounds fun, Lisa. Look, I'm sure you're looking forward to coming back over here. May, May will be a little bit warmer than today, of course, but still great to visit over here. Still better, better weather than the uh, or still better to watch this and, and think about the better weather than the snow or, or what's going on around the country. Yes, there are various homestead exemptions in Florida. Um, different ways to qualify for additional homestead.
We're gonna cross the street over here. Oh, nice. This is the Columbia restaurant right here at Front Street in Sycamore. Really beautiful. One of these restaurants we're gonna have dinner at tonight. Not sure which one, but mmm, I smell some seafood. Everything smells so good. Oh, there are there, so there's several of these around Florida. There's one that happens to be Tampa, Eber City. Here, just the inside of it. Nice. Got the interior with some pottery up front here. Oh, yeah, snowbird. So half the year here, half the year there, huh? So, yep, this was the, the theater, and looks like it's definitely closed which is unfortunate not sure what they'll end up doing with this space <laughs> where are you at Belinda what part of Florida I uh, grew up in Melbourne so I know Melbourne very well We got an ice cream shop here. Two wins. Sarasota and St. Armand Circle has one of those. And then uh, we have Wolfgang Bakery here for the set. But let me go in here a sec. Excuse me. Nice. You can see them making all the yummy stuff here. How's it going? Wave to the camera, man. Wave to the camera. <laughs> you having a good night? Awesome. Shut for dogs. Yep, this is a nice treat shop for your dogs. Here in downtown, there's plenty of pets and dogs down here. These are definitely doggy treats. Neat little doggy treats. Oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Which tomorrow we're gonna have a nice stream on that. Move on down the street here. What do we have here? French pastries. Mm. <laughs> nice. 
Hi. How are you guys? Good, just checking this place out for the first time. Nice. Very pretty stuff. What else do we have here? What is this place? Japanese cuisine. Mm. Let's see what we have for the menu. Julie wants to know if there was any non-dairy ice cream. We're going to go check that out and see. Well, stay tuned, Julie. Definitely very active downtown here today. Which is really good. People relaxing after a long week at work. Generally, probably not a lot of tourists hanging out here, but, um, but there's a lot of locals that live in the town here and a lot of people like us that are local to the area that come down here. All right, we're going to head down towards some pretty areas of downtown. We got Cafe Antonio. Looks like the street closes tonight at 10 to probably allow for people to enjoy the street and, and have some sort of uh, party or whatnot. Hey Thomas. Yeah, Carrie, I've never been to the theater here when it was open, but it, it, it's in a great place. I'd love to come down here, have a bite to eat for dinner, watch a movie, head over to uh, an area after that to maybe have a drink or two. But. The theater's just sitting there empty. So we have several stores over here. So for everybody who's on the stream right now, how many have you, how many of you have been to Celebration and eaten at any of these restaurants downtown here? Belinda, have you? Oh, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad we uh, were able to stream this for you guys live here in Celebration and get you a good taste of where you want to stay and what to do down here to get you excited. So what's a good restaurant down here, everybody? Oh, diner type, okay. Great pizza, huh? I'll have to check that out. We're definitely gonna go and, and look at that. Get cards and candles. Well, it depends what part of Florida. If you want to be close, um, you know, ironically, rent sometimes is more expensive than actually buying a house or buying a place. Um, but it depends where you're at.
Here's a Sweet Escape Bakery and Deli. I'm gonna go step in here and check it out. I'm not near the hotel at the moment, but I could maybe turn by there. Oh, really? But less. Did you go? Did you go to Bricks? Less crowded where here or uh, or there? Look at the neat architecture they have over here at the post office. That's the United States Post Office. So if you have some packages or, or letters you need to mail, or if you're a resident of the town here, and not even a resident, you can stop by here and uh, mail your, your postal items. Uh, so one thing that people don't realize is that Florida has a town called Christmas. And people pr do precisely that. They actually go to the town of Christmas and they mail their items. And they do that so it's postmark, postmark for Christmas. They mail their car Christmas cards there. They're a busy post office during Christmas. And they're not far from here. You got the Wonderland Cookie Dough Company. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of good sweet stuff over here. I'm gonna check this place out. You guys are the best ice cream out of all of them, right? Well, we're not ice cream. I know. <laughs> They're cookie What is it, cookie dough? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. You'd be shocked at the number of people, though, who are, even after they've purchased it, they think it's ice cream. They still think it's Exactly. Until they actually, they're like, this is not. This isn't ice cream. <laughs> That's why I said that. I was like, if people are thinking that there's ice cream in here. Yeah. And the peanut butter and uh, wow. That's the word. That's a trailer. Have a good day. You put the peanut butter in. I'm currently at the wonderful cookie dough company. At the end of this street here, across from the Escape Bakery, nearby the Soft as a Grape. Head down the street and I'm heading back up. It was actually cooked to go that you eat, which is very interesting. <laughs> All right, here's that pizza place you're talking about. It's called Upper Crust. Well, the Magic Kingdom fireworks have been going off at 8.55 this week since the time change. Um, generally, and I haven't double checked, but generally Hollywood Studios is at 9, Epcot's at 9. Um, actually, I could be wrong in the Hollywood Studios, but... We have Market Street over here, which is a diner type place that you're, somebody was referring to earlier.
Oh, there's a Mexican place this way. We're going to head towards that. So we saw the pizza place and we saw the uh, the diner that uh, some of our viewers were referring to. Well, thanks, Lisa. I'll have to try that out. Market Street Cafe. Not sure which ones are streaming tonight for the fireworks. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, that smells good. It's a celebration town tavern. The uh, Bohemian Hotel, which um, I think it was Julie that was interested in, in for me to go there. Was it Julie or was it Lisa? And of course, what else would be missing if you didn't have it is, for those of you Starbucks fans, we have Starbucks coffee. Thank you, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. So, Jerry, uh, share this with other people. Get some more people to love streaming the magic. We are at the Town of Celebration, which is the town that uh, Disney uh, had created. And uh, I'm not sure what year was it that they did. Now, it's not owned by Disney anymore, but it is a town that was developed and, and per, or, uh, built and developed by Disney. Over here, down just down from Disney World. Good margaritas, we need to come back for one. And there's many of these and there's parking spots for, for the various electric golf carts in the area that the residents or the business owners own. Hey Susan, how you doing? This is Bob. Uh, I've streamed uh, several times in the last few weeks. I'm trying to bring to you the various locations that are not as common to stream. So if you look back at some of the, the various streams I've done, you'll see uh, uh, different resorts and some other aspects and um, some rides that people haven't gone on trying to capture some animals that people haven't seen um, but we are right now in the town of celebration hey Jerry hmm? oh yeah there's a lakeside bar and grill of celebration it's a nice restaurant here um, see if I can get a peek of the hotel in here of course all of our snow over here in Florida has melted not really but you know what I mean
Thank you, sir. We're now inside the hotel. Looks like they're going to do some music later. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you for joining us. If you have any requests of locations you'd like us to stream, just let us know. This restaurant backs up, and this uh, hotel backs up to the water over here, which is really peaceful out here. You got the pool over there by the water. Hmm. Let's go check out this statue over here. see here. What do we got here? Nice. Have a good day. Yeah. All right, okay. This is what's really neat is about the hotel also is that the sign here spin. Hey, I know. I think that's worth me staying here. <laughs> Definitely. Can't go anywhere around here without smelling food. So we've kind of circled back down here. I think we've hit all the downtown side roads here, but we're going to take a look at the water with the lights on around it now. Oh, okay. So the other hotel next to that is the Celebration Hotel. Very pretty, very nice out here today. Stephanie, hopefully that storm will not affect you too much and bring you down, but you know what? You always have streaming the magic to lift you up. What are you telling us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People have their bikes down here. They're they're riding down here all around the town. Coming down here to check out the restaurants and the entertainment. We're going to go walk again towards uh, to the right on the other side of the water here, towards that direction that had the park. Yes, uh, Jerry. Yeah, the one building is the Celebration Hotel, and the other building is the Bohemian Hotel. Yeah, the map of the whole Celebration of Celebration Florida.
Oh yeah, nice. Rocking chairs right here in the water. Got some umbrellas for the days that have some sun in the, in, during the day, which is always in Florida, of course. You can see how glass the water is, and you can see the neat reflections off of it from the lights. You're welcome, Jerry. Oh, wow. The Italian restaurant right on the corner there with the pretty lights. We're going to have to go check that out. Anybody want to give me their orders for food and I'll deliver it? <laughs> yep, here's, down, here's the main street with the lights. That's the street that closes at 10 o'clock. They probably uh, have, bring some entertainment out in the street. That's also where they do in winter. They do the now oh, snowing. Oh, yeah. They in, also do the roller, I mean, the ice skating. In winter, they do the uh, ice skating. And, the and they do snowing. In the fall, they have leaves falling. They have leaves falling in the fall. Uh, I know during Christmas time, there's lots of Christmas lights up in this area. Yeah. People come and from all over race. to check it out. Yeah, that's a nice. Definitely a very neat community. Oh, yeah, Teresa, yes, that was the restaurant you were talking about. So, has everybody enjoyed the walk through the celebration, the town of celebration? Yeah, I know. You know what, though, by the time it gets to you, it might not be any good. Well, actually, for you, Belinda, you live somewhat local, so so maybe it would be good, but no, sorry. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. I'm going to take a spin around here for a moment. Oh, Victor lives here. I didn't realize that. So Disney World, Jerry, is on the other side of the 192 corridor. It's very close. Ten minutes. Yep. All right, everybody, thank you for joining. Share this. Watch out for some of our future streams. Let us know in the comments where you'd uh, like for us to stream next. Uh, we all are one. We all are very happy to stream and take your request because we want to share the locations in which you're most interested in, and and show you the magic. Thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs>